First he eats, then he tweets. Tom O'Keefe is a restaurant lover and social media legend. His alter ego Boston Tweet keeps 40,000 followers constantly updated with anything fun, interesting, and tasty happening around the city. Boston Tweet is kind of a Twitter-based generally guide of what's happening in the city. On any particular day, Boston Tweet will check out and check in at multiple restaurants, particularly if they specialize in comfort food and craft beer. Some of his favorites include the gourmet burgers at American Craft in Brookline, the baked rigatoni at Eastern Standard in Kenmore Square, and the grilled cheese sandwiches at Roxy's Grilled Cheese Truck. Tom even appeared as a special celebrity judge at the Phantom Gourmet Barbecue Beach Party, where he taste-tested ribs from around the country, and he thought our very own Fireflies Barbecue was the best of the bunch. Taste the flavor, it's really tender. You took a bite, it really kind of melted in your mouth. Armed with nothing but a cell phone and a big appetite, this guy puts the eat in Boston Tweet. And here he is, the king of all social media, Boston Tweet. What's going on, man? Not much. Thanks for having me, Dan. Absolutely. Now, here's the question I want to ask you first and foremost. You go to restaurants a lot of the time, you see people talking on their cell phone, which I consider to be very rude. Very rude. The question is, and you would know better than anyone, is it okay to tweet while you're dining in a restaurant? It's also kind of rude. I, I try to make it very, very discreet, <laughs> uh -huh. because, but I have this... I have to take photos of everything I eat. Yes, I, I understand. I don't know if you have that problem. Too, I do. I have that problem. same problem. And everyone that's at the table with me, I'm like, you cannot touch the food. You're starving. <laughs> you know, you're getting skinny. And but I have to take photos first. So right. I do that. I try to make it very discreet. Try to make sure there's well lighting uh -huh. because the flash obviously draws a lot of attention. Sure. Get my tweet done, send it out, and then I'm done for tonight. So I, I try to make it very discreet. I, I agree, being on a phone in a restaurant is yeah. rude, and uh, you know. The but whole as point long of as you're out. discreet, it's okay. Okay. Now let's talk about some of your favorite places. I mean, you make it public for the world where you're eating. You love comfort food kind of places, and one of your favorite spots is the Public House in Brookline, which is a great spot yeah. to kind of warm up on a cold night. Yeah, one of my favorites. It's thankfully, luckily, one of my uh, favorite bars is my neighborhood bar. I cool. live right right down the corner. Obviously, tremendous beer selection there. Uh, uh, O'Hara, you got Allagash there, but their their mac and cheese is some phenomenal. One of the uh, best in the city, I think. They make it with a, five cheeses. You can get about. 15 toppings go in there from tomatoes, <laughs> mushrooms, bacon, spinach, broccoli, chicken, sausage, uh, all these great toppings and mixed up. It's a phenomenal dish. Yeah, because, you know, five cheeses isn't enough. You also need no. a little sausage to round it out. Absolutely. It's quite heavy. Now, it's another for place for comfort food, especially Italian comfort food, one of my places, too. I feed my whole family with, like, one portion at this place. It's called Camellas. They got, yeah. like, eight locations around Massachusetts. What, what do they do? I love Camellas. You know, I, I honestly haven't didn't discover it until about a year ago. And I actually found it. I was a little hungover and wanted this real red sauce meat, so my buddy recommended You were hung over? I was once. That one time I was. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, no, no. but uh, especially going to the public house with the uh, with the beers. <laughs> but uh, So I went there, and my buddy recommended the mess. Got the meatball mess, and pretty much I get that every single time. Love it. I have no idea what's in it. It's just a mix of total pasta. It's a secret. It's they don't tell you what it is. No, I know. I, every time it's different, and there's a whole mix in there. I absolutely love it, and it's a great, It's it really is a great dish on a weekend or a Sunday. Yeah, now another one of your favorite restaurants is in uh, Cambridge called uh, Chez Henri, which yeah. is cool because it's a French-Cuban restaurant, but what are you doing with comfort food at this place? It's, there's one sandwich on the menu that you like? Yeah, there is. Well, Chez Henri, first off, it classes me up a little bit by going to a French restaurant. Oh, yeah. You know, You're a fancy the, guy. the usual beer bars and stuff. <laughs> uh, but the Cuban sandwich, you have the bar side, you have the restaurant side. Right. It's Chez Henry. The bar side, you can get uh, the bar menu, which has the Cuban sandwich. Phenomenal, greasy, you know, pork sandwich, <laughs> cheese on there. It's phenomenal. Uh, their mojitos at Chez Henry are mm. some of the best in the city, uh, and it's just a great mix. I love it there. All right, now last but not least, we share a passion for a place called Anna's Taqueria, which yeah. as far as I'm concerned is like the king of all burrito joints in Boston. I used to live above the one uh, right on Beacon Street in Brooklyn, the original Anna's. Yep. You're like tweeting from there all the time, and you also do this thing where you've created something like basically burrito action figures. <laughs> let, let, let's take a look. We have some of your pictures that you have tweeted out now explain what's going on here. That is actually the Hurricane Irene commemorative burrito. So <laughs> that, that's actually his, it's supposed to be a tie that's blowing in the wind, and ah. his hair is kind of blown off. Okay. Now and the next one here, you, you do many different ones. Uh, this is a sad burrito. Yeah, Tom. it's sad. I don't know if it has a name to it. Sort of like, <laughs> ouch, my head is hurting me. But uh, it, it's awfully difficult to make these guys. The you have burrito. to get you have to get all the ingredients to black beans. And of stuff, course. So you have to take a chew uh, out of it. Last but not least, this was my personal favorite. Uh, who is this one? Uh, that is the pepper. That's the 2010 uh, Boston Marathon commemorative burrito. <laughs> and, uh, 
absolutely genius. <laughs> well, if you want to follow geniusness like this, everybody, you can follow Boston Tweet. He's on Twitter. It is at Boston Tweet. You can also follow at Phantom Gourmet. And I'm on Twitter as well, at Dan Andelman.